Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com, here to bring you your mid month forecast for November 15th to the 30th. Guys, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Please remember for this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going on with my Capricorn's romantic love life for? November 15th to the 30th. What's going on my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? What's going on with my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? Okay, that feels good. Okay. And then I have my clarifier, my right away. What's going on my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 15th to 30th? What's going on my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 15th to 30th? What's going on my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? Okay, that feels good. And then I have my Lenormand clarifier. What's going on my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? What's going on my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? Okay, that feels good. All right, Seven of Swords energy. Hmm, someone is uh, not being completely honest about something, Seven of Swords. Someone's having some kind of sneaky behavior, some of the so Seven of Swords energy. And with this particular card, you can see that there is someone who is turning their back here. Okay, a person here is turning their back to the other person and they're not being honest about something and they're, they're being very sneaky, okay? Um, and why is that? Because there's been a lot of time invested. There's been a lot of waiting around here to kind of see how things are going to be playing out. And why is that pertaining to the person? So there is a dishonest energy here because a lot of time has not been invested pertaining to a person. Someone's not being honest about this. Seven of Swords energy. Okay. What is the blockage? Hmm. Bondage, addiction, depression, procrastination. Obviously, this is your card, Capricorn, the devil card. So something that maybe is not quite right about, wow, again, the devil card, devil, devil. Uh, something's not quite right here uh, because someone is confused or clouded in their judgment. Hmm. Okay, so something's quite unhealthy here, which is the blockage. Uh, there's may, there may be a lot of procrastination here. There may be something that's not quite right. Uh, there is some is not being honest about the fact that man this is going to take a while there there's spent a lot of time there's a lot of invested things involved with this and it's just it's it's just like playing out here but somebody's not being honest about this when it comes to this person there is a person here in this current situation but the blockage is either there's some kind of procrastination going on because someone's confused with the the cloud card or someone's choosing to have um uh, 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 someone's choosing not to see that something isn't quite right about this. All right, what is going on the foundation? Wow, Ten of Swords energy. Uh, Ten of Swords, there's some backstabbing going on uh, or there's some hurt or pain because you can't complete a cycle or someone feels like it's difficult. Maybe there's travel or someone's foreign from someone else, or someone wants to take this from one level to the next, but they, they feel like I, I gotta end something to start something new, pertaining to house and family. So there is some hurt and pain pertaining to completing the cycle pertaining to house and family, or something to do with the house, and something to do with travel here to the situation. What happened in the past? Seven of Cups, there was a confusion about choices. Seven of Cups. And there was, a, there was an energy of, I need to defend my position here, okay? And why? Because of a fresh start and a new opportunity. So either there was an actual child involved, and that's the reason someone defended their position here, um, or it was because there was a confidence, someone was trying to gain confidence when it came to their choices. They defend their position, they were defending their position. They felt like, okay, this is a good fresh start, this is a new opportunity here. Or I want to defend my position because I want a fresh start and a new opportunity here pertaining to my choices. What happened? What's going on at the head of the matter? Wow. There's a lot of worry and anxiety here. Okay. This person doesn't even really want to even face it really because they're holding their, their hands over their head there. They're not really wanting to face this. 
and uh, it's something to do with the past energy six of cups maybe something surrounding a reconciliation or something to do with someone from your past and a message so there's worry and anxiety because of something to do with someone from the past and pertaining to a message or a secret here that is kind of disturbing the situation hmm. and the the letter card is something that's secret and the reason why I would pre preface that as being something that's secret because of that seven of swords someone's not being honest about something here okay and the, the blockage is that there, there is some kind of procrastination or something that's not quite right that's confusing about things and this is bringing worry and anxiety because there's something to do with a reconciliation possibly and something secret that's worrying someone here okay what's going on in the immediate outcome there is some type of message here a message of love page of cups energy someone feels like they are hanging in limbo they're stuck because they have an anchor they're anchored to something here so there's some type of message coming in or potential for love here new path and love cancer scorpio pisces energy but they're feeling stuck they're feeling like they're they, they need to look at things from a new perspective because they're anchored or they want some kind of stability here wow okay so there's a stuckness energy here there's there is a, a stagnant energy here hmm because of that that uh that uh anchor hmm there's something anchoring this and what's going on subconscious a lot of regret about the past there's two people here one is really seeing things as an opportunity here with the two of cups being in their hand and the other person's just facing all the cups that fell down a lot of regrets a lot of uh, crying over spilled milk here i mean you can see that and um it's possibly be because of immaturity or because of the fact that there's uh they're gaining some kind of new perspective because they want some kind of strength here they're trying to gain strength or control about this okay so uh this also can be a work card a boss card okay someone is being immature when it comes to gaining their strength because they have this regret about the past they're crying over spilled milk here that's the subconscious there is regret here though what's the influence the emperor energy hmm and the emperor is carrying a key here i know it's not lenormand slash tarot but for me the key shows me that there can be success here as if some, this person takes control of the situation the emperor can represent work as well okay so the outer influence could be work it could be a fatherly figure it could be something surrounding success that could be influencing your romantic love life because of something to do with an equal give and take okay obviously there's not an equal give and take here because there's three people in this card someone's getting more than the other person but let's see why and then we got the key card that came out something surrounding success so there could be something to do with charity or giving and receiving that is an issue here something needs to be an equal give and take pertaining to success and there is a person that's taking control of things with the emperor energy to be a leadership uh to have a leadership role in the situation to take charge of this okay so there is some type of success here or something surrounding work and success and or something to do with an equal give and take in this situation i like the fact that the key card did come out for the influence that is a positive card it's a very good card it's an opportunity it's a success card and with the emperor energy there it's not of such a bad influence okay so what's going on with the hopes and fears someone wants to explore passionate things aries sagittarius leo energy and they want to be uh they want something to do with thinking with their head over their heart hmm so page of wands this could be the hope the hope could be maybe they're, they're they're hoping for some kind of exploratory energy what is exploratory energy page of wands is exploring things that are passionate and why is that because of the fact that someone feels like they've been using their head over their heart and why is that because oh, okay so this is a fear someone's fearing that maybe someone will get a message of passion and they'll think with their they won't they won't think with their head over their heart and this will cause some kind of blockage or delay wow okay that's a very interesting hope or fear page of wands is about messages messages of passion king of swords is about thinking with your head over your heart and the the um the mountain card shows some type of delay or blockage pertaining to making wise choices and decisions because of the fact that they're 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 looking for some kind of 
you know, uh, exploratory energy. I see, I see what's going on. That's that's why it's the fear. It's like they're thinking, this person's thinking, okay, they're going to go out there and they're going to explore things passionately, but they're not going to be thinking properly. They're not going to really be thinking about things. They're not going to take a leadership role in this, which will cause a blockage and delay. Hmm. Okay, so what's going to happen in the immediate outcome? I mean, the uh, outcome. Six of Pentacles energy. Hmm. Six of Pentacles, something's not an equal give and take, and why is that? Because there's worry and anxiety, Nine of Swords energy, and why is that pertaining to uh, long-term commitment and marriage here? Hmm. There's something not quite right here about your situation, Capricorn, and it, it could potentially be either money, that could be the issue here, or it's something to do with uh, another person. Okay, let's keep going here. I want to see what's going on here with this. Hmm. All right, why is that going on? Six of Pentacles is here because of four of Pentacles. Someone's holding on for a short success, but they're doing some deep, heavy soul searching here. Okay, so there is a person here that feels like they're not getting equal give and take. And so they're, they're trying to hold on for a short success. And there's a person here that's isolating themselves because they're doing some deep, heavy soul searching on what to do about the situation because they're not getting equal give and take. So, and you can see this person's looking over at those, the Six of Pentacles energy here. You see that? That Four of Pentacles person is looking over at that Six of Pentacles person. They're like, I know I'm not getting equal give and take, but I'm still going to hold in there. I'm still going to hold on for a short success. I'm going to figure this out with the Hermit card. I'm going to figure out how to handle this situation with the Hermit card. Hmm. A lot going on here, uh, Capricorn. It's been a while for you guys. You've had pretty, very good readings. All right, so let me, um, guys, let me know what's in the com what's going on in the comments below. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get some advice for you guys, and you don't have to take it if you don't want to because you have free, okay? But definitely have, you have a lot going on the rest of this month. Wow. Okay, can I have some advice for my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? Can I have some advice for my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th, please? Okay, so they're saying that there's something to do with a reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning, okay? And then we have something surrounding new love. That's what the equal give and take is here. And pay attention to red flags. Okay, I see what's going on here. So for some of you, which I do see the Six of Cups energy here, right? There's some type of message coming in from someone from your past, which is worrying you. So you're dealing with a situation where you have this new love going on. But then this reconciliation comes in and spirit saying pay attention to red flags. So it looks like you're going to have to choose something here. You're either going to have to choose to reconcile with this person from the past or you're going to have to choose to go with this new love Capricorn. And it's saying pay attention to red flags here. Um, and red flags would be the signs are cautioning you. So let's clarify this, okay? Why is this reconciliation card here? Why is reconciliation card here? Why is this reconciliation card here? Something to do is going to make you happy, the Sun card. But then on the same token, it's going to be rushed here with the Knight of Swords energy because you're going to have to take control of this with the Emperor card. Why is new love here? Why is new love here? Holding on for a short success pertaining to new love, pertaining to a wish and a hope with the Star card. Three of Pentacles shows me more than one person or something surrounding work there. Hmm. And why is pay attention to red flags here? Why is pay attention to red flags here? Long-term commitments, traditional values, the Hierophant card, and making a wise choice when it comes to love, and gaining some kind of mental clarity. Exactly, Spirit. So Capricorns, this is on your shoulders here. You're going to have to gain some kind of mental clarity because it looks like it's something to do with you having to figure out, okay, do you want to go with somebody from your past? and reconcile or do you want this new situation here okay then that explains why in the outcome we have something to do with an equal something's not an equal give and take there's multiple people here that you're giving to see and everyone has their hand out like hey give to me give to me I want time I want time and then there's a person here it's like I'm gonna hold on for short success I'm gonna hold on to this for short success and I'm gonna have to do some deep heavy soul searching here with the hermit card energy and this is bringing you worry because one of these people here is potential for long-term commitment marriage here with the ring card. 
Wow, Capricorns. Whew. All right. Let me uh, get some advice for your career and finance here. Can I have some advice for my Capricorn's career and finance for November 15th to the 30th, please? Okay. Media. It says you can reach reach more people by working with video, audio, print, or online media. So they're suggesting for your career in finance or whatever you're trying to do here, Capricorn, that you're going to have to advertise. And also, editor. So whatever you're doing, uh, they're suggesting that maybe you should bring some out uh, outside people here to help you with this. And also, helping children could be useful to you. It says, part of your life purpose involves teaching, guiding, and helping young people. Okay, so Capricorn, so whatever you're working on right now, uh, they're suggesting that maybe you should work on some kind of advertising, okay? And that maybe you should bring some outside people in here with editing to kind of help you with that situation, to kind of bring things together. And also, helping children would be a great life purpose for you coming forward for, for whoever this resonates with. Part of your life purpose involves teaching, guiding, and helping young people. All right, my Capricorns, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great mid-month. It does look like you have some things you have to figure out here and gain some mental clarity on. So guys, I love you so much. Have a great mid-month and uh, I will see you soon.